In this video, I'm going to show you make an AI Wi-Fi pen testing tool. It's called the Ponagachi, and I'm going to show you how to build one of these today. For this project, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi Zero W, a Wave ink screen, a Pi Sugar battery. You're also going to need a micro SD card. I'm going to leave links to all these products in the description. All right, let's get started with this project. First thing is you need to download the firmware to your SD card. So first thing is you got to plug it in to your computer, and you need to download something called Bellina Etcher. I'm going to leave all the links in the description, but pick whatever operating system that you have. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download it and install it. Now, while that's downloading, I'm going to go grab the image that I'm going to be needing. So I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to leave this link in the description as well. I'm going to get the latest version. You're going to find it to the right here. Click on that. Download the 32-bit version. Uh, you're going to see that pop up in a second. Download that. Save it some way that you are able to find it quickly. So you're going to go back to Bolina Etcher and click on that image that you just downloaded. Go ahead and select your micro SD card. And then you're going to hit flash. So this is going to take a little while. So while this is flashing and validating, go ahead and put together your device here. Uh, I'm going to be putting the battery together. And uh, you're going to see in this video real quick how it looks. So go ahead and put the risers if needed. Put your ink screen on top of your Raspberry Pi Zero W, which should fit really nice. And when you're done, it should look just like this. Once it's done being flashed and, and once it's done being validated, go ahead and plug in the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Now plug it into your computer. Make sure you use the most center USB port. Um, if you see that it says COM and not a uh, network adapter, you need to change that by using this driver here. I'm going to put the link to this driver in the description. Um, once you do that, it should show up as a network adapter. And once it does that, you can move on to the next step. Now I need to configure the IP address, so you're going to click on the adapter and you're going to go to IPv4 settings. Once you get into there, you're going to be putting 10.0.0.1 and the subnet is 255.255.255.0. Also as a side note, make sure you have the other adapter set where it shares a network connection among other adapters. But now it's time to SSH into this device, so open up a PowerShell, you're going to SSH Pi at 10.0.0.2, not one. And once you do that, you're gonna get this message. Your password is raspberry. Once you log into there, you're gonna be using this command, sudo monogachi dash dash wizard. You're gonna follow these prompts. You're gonna hit no for the first one. You're gonna hit Y for the second one. You get to name it, whatever you wanna name it. Make sure there's no spaces. Say no to this one. Yes, you wanna enable the display. It's going to ask for what type of display that you have. Make sure you put it in there. Uh, you can pick if you want white or a black background. And it's going to reboot once you're done with that. And that's it. You're done. You got a little AI Wi-Fi hacking gadget now. So it's pretty cool. Really easy to do. Very fun. I made a couple of these already. And uh, just be careful because these things will start attacking everything in sight. So just know as long as this thing is on, it's going to be attacking Wi-Fi networks. So... Use it with caution. This video is for educational purposes only. Are you guys going to be building one of these yourselves? I'm going to be leaving all the links to the products in the description. Please hit that like button and the subscribe button. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.